You're still old. Yes, is there a borrow with that master? Well, servants are usually summoned in their prime, so yeah, it's really rare to see such a distinguished gentleman. But it also means your potential wasn't limited to your youth. Who knows, maybe you can keep up getting stronger even now. That's right, I'm truly happy to hear you say that, master. Please rest assured that this fish shall not fear you. What's this I hear about Mordred calling me? And I quote, basic. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but you are. You just make a few crit stars, buff your attack, and shoot off Excalibur. There is literally nothing you need or particularly interesting about your skill set. You're not even vanilla. You're the white bread of five star servants. Don't you disrespect the bread I put on your table, young lady. Ah, this feeling of rebellion. I like older you now, but I love that I can still mess with this you. Chaldea's the best. I've got it. Hey, Munanori. Check out my Nobu impression. The Holy Grail. What is that? Some kind of bomb. Look at all of these Western goods I bought with tax money. Guns are totally something the Archer class uses. <laughs> That's what he reacts to? Shinsengumida! Vice Commander, it is 6 in the morning and Master is sleeping. If you don't shut up, I'm going to Shinzen shop Pogatory so far your butt that Vault will feel inadequate. And no pickle anything for 3 months. Shinsengumida. Alright, let's see if this actually works. I'm here, Mass. There? Ha! I guess this place is a bit amusing after all. So, oh, there are supposed to be two main timelines, right? One with the power of servants and one with the power of dead apostles? Dead apostles are mostly based off true ancestors, which are elementals of the world. Are they on a different layer of the world from us? One closer to Gaia than Alaya? Uh, uh, who knows? The, the world is a mysterious place. <laughs> What's with that suspicious reaction? Hmm? What are you doing on the computer, Master? Oh, I was just looking over some of the recordings we saved from Shiba. It's got a lot of sync graphs and stuff, and we're slowly managing to add them to our main database for summoning. There's a Greek one we saw. What do you think? Her name's Pollux, I believe? Oh, she's hot. Caster, no. Your problem is that you're trying to protect the world. You know, I live in the world, right? I kind of have to protect it through sheer self-interest of nothing else. And if a beast destroys things in another reality and that ripples into our own and crushes it, can you be everywhere at every moment to ward off every possible catastrophe? You romance actual gods with less power than that. Uh, I just... that... That's not fair. Life isn't fair. Listen, master, nothing good comes from trying to save the world. The only thing you need to care about is what's most important to you. Don't try to carry everyone's burdens yourself because that will just crush you. But please don't mind me. I'm just a waifu doll of a servant here to fill in the gap between small and large chests. Now look what you've done. You're giving her anxiety. Oh, just shove some burgers in her mouth, a little junk food, and she'll feel way better. Uh, um, a maid bikini after a bunny one? Is that the kind of outfit servants have to wear? Oh, but please don't hesitate to punish this useless toy who couldn't bring the right clothes when summoned. Okay, this is getting too much like a bad dojin. Come here, newbie. I'll explain how things actually work. Servant, Saber, the Prince of Lan Ling has responded to your summons. I deeply apologize for appearing before you with a mask on. Please forgive me for my insolence. And I'm sure dealing with royalty is new for you, but please don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's new. Eh? What? I feel like causing trouble today. Are we talking stealing extra desert or creating your own law spell? Because I did believe either coming from you. Hmm. Let's fight Kinas' next drink. Nothing permanent, just fun. She's been getting uppity about asking for more booze anyway. Good boys and girls, do not do this at home. What if I drink is not a parade and make it get you arrested? So. You're an alternate of a different alternate me. Yes. Truly fascinating. Would you do me the honor of competing in a little tourney I'm setting up? 
I managed to claim some simulator time, and I'm hoping to provide some entertainment for everyone. Hmm, very well. But I require you to furnish me with a new set of armor. Every tournament needs a black knight if it's going to be any fun. And the knights of the round table have gotten a little too complacent lately. I am hatred. I am vengeance. I am the undying rage that burns all to ashes. That's nice, dear, but can't you get me a drink from the kitchen? You know I'm too big to appear in any other rooms or go through the doorways. Eh? The living embodiment of hatred can't even use a door? What kind of gods are they making these days? There should be a limit to ineptitude, but I suppose there's no helping it. Huh. <sighs> I guess I'll just go and get drinks for all three of us. Is... is that a medical text, Master? Are you interested in studying medicine? Not medicine as such. I was talking to nursery earlier and decided to research the imagination. Since fantastic images play a large part in many of her stories, I went down the rabbit hole of info, as it were. Turns out there's something called aphantasia, where people can't see pictures in their minds. Like, at all. Most people with it just assume it's normal and that other people are talking in metaphors when they talk about stuff like picturing things in their head. Now I'm curious how many other conditions there are that people think are normal. So you're telling me some people have broken minds? Very well. I will purge them. Faulty body parts must be removed. No! Say, um, senpai, I've been meaning to ask this for a while now, but what's up with your ability to switch between genders? Oh, that? Well, you know how I'm pretty terrible at using magecraft without a mystic code? Swapping physical gender is the one magic I'm actually good at. It's kind of hard to be a mage just without being able to cast something. Huh, I guess that makes sense, but um... Which version is your original then? Ah, that's far too easy a question, Mash. Why, from my deductions, I know that Master is giving me an expression, suggesting banishment to the second archive forever, if I say it. How dreadfully boring. But if you insist, I shan't spoil it. You there. You're not one of those heathens who's going to support Christmas in July, are you? I'm sorry, what? Jean de Arc Santa Lily, stop bothering people with stupid questions. You're making me look bad, and you. Ugh. I'm not helping you because I like you or anything. Lily's just being annoying again. Come on, Brad, let's go. What? So many monsters. I'm amazed that Chaldea has survived this long. Right? Every time you think you're on me, are the widest. You learn about more of Master Shinanikens. Saitakun, isn't it? I hear you were a policeman protecting Kyo. I'm quite pleased to see someone fulfilling a similar role to Genji's here at Chaldea. It's an honor to hear that from one of the four heavenly kings. My exploits can match yours, but your stories did inspire me as a kid. I see. If it could inspire others to be better, then it was all worthwhile. I hope Master will let us fight alongside each other sometime. Oh, so you're calling- Wait, Grand Duchess? Why are you with him? Ah, you must be the other master. I know not about the version of me you summoned, but I have pledged myself to Ritsuka and to protect the proper human history. So it's not enough to take all the glory from Kaldea. You even want to take my servant from me, Ritsuka Fujimaru? This is why I hate mages like you. You know, I already killed the guy responsible for making all the other mages bully you. Could you, I don't know, maybe chill out on your paranoid conspiracy theories for five minutes? Well, Ritsuka, why don't you tell me how you've been feeling since our last session? I guess it all started when Jack showed me a knife she was using. I suddenly started thinking about how I'm basically pushing child soldiers into battle, and then what I'm having to do to the kids in the Lost Belts hit me, and I just... People who hurt kids are the worst, and I'm... You're... I'm doing what's necessary for the survival of humanity, and I'm not sure if I can forgive myself for it. I don't know how to reconcile doing the right thing while also being a terrible person. You there, little blue child. I'm told you're a servant with the body of someone very precious to my friend Hercules. That's correct. Is our captain bothering you, ma'am? I'll greatly search his brain for damage if he is. Shut your pie hole, Asclepius. Little one, Herc's friends are my friends. Let Big Brother know if you need any help, okay? <laughs> sure. I'll do just that if there's something the girls can't handle. How do you do it? Where... I... I mean... 
you're just a normal person. How can you possibly have enough hours in a day to manage that many servants? Oh, that? I'm just so fucking, so fucking awesome, eh? Huh? Get it? One of these days, someone's going to stab you. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. <laughs>